So where do you, uh, you know, where do you see uh, production and, uh, and and technology going in the future? Do you see more of this cloud computing, or do you see it uh, staying down here um, as far as on the hardware, you know, processing power? What do you what do you see for the future of technology and its evolution? Um, I think the cloud is the future. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, for a lot of good reasons. I, you know, I kind of see uh, even with touch develop on Windows Phone and and the different ways of making developing not easier but more uh less jargon right i see it I, I see a little bit of the future of being where people can develop more um without so much knowledge on the back end of how these things work and just on the front end being able to choose from these toolbox sets mm -hmm. a lot more do you do you do you see that as well i want that to happen right it's not happening very okay. well you okay. know i don't think okay. i, I Maybe, think what do, you, what do you think is maybe for implementation or? I'm, you know, I'm going to Microsoft on Sunday and uh, uh, I've already set up a meeting with them. <laughs> maybe talk about this? Yeah, yeah, because awesome. I think they're going the wrong direction okay. with the later versions of the framework. Okay. I think they're making it harder. Okay. And um, especially now that I'm a contractor and right. I'm, I'm, uh, I have to keep, I have to be mindful of my hours. Yeah. Right. Because when you work at a company, you can just, you know, right. ah, it'll be done two weeks late. Yeah. You know? yeah right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but you can't do that as a contractor Not because so they're Cause paying you hourly to get this job done. So you need to spit out stuff quick. Yep. And 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 for me, I want to spit out good stuff quick. Exactly. Because right. you're putting your stamp of approval. Right. On it, so you. I don't want anything out there that I don't like. Approve. Right. Approved by. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, but I think Microsoft is is making that harder. And, and I really, my eyes have really opened up now that I'm a contractor to that. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's my big thing I'm going to talk to him about this week. Well, hopefully you can make it done. I hope so. You know, because okay. that's, you know, I don't know if programming will ever get to the point where you just drag these boxes and boom, you have a program. Right. right. There's always going to be business logic. One-offs, you know, security things, all those different kinds of jazz, sure. Right. But, I mean, for, for individual, you know, other, you know, for people to make, applications and be able to do uh, unique things, right, if, to fill those niche markets and then we kind of build upon that. You know, I, I see I see that as a need, you know, right. especially in the health, health right. sectors. So in my framework class, I have a whole section on the cloud. And uh, when I start the section, I say, if you want to focus on one thing uh, and make a lot of money, this is it, you know. The and framework. I recommend doing this, you know, focusing on cloud work. Um, I mean, you can do other things if you want, but it, this is the future. And uh, because of all the things, the, that. yeah, all yeah. the things the cloud is bringing to yep. us. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. there yet; it's coming. But um, you know, having the ability to instantly, you know, uh, have servers spin up to handle load, right? Mm -hmm. yep. If if a day of pushing it through that hardware, you're pushing it through the yeah. Yeah, when Oprah talks about your book. <laughs> You know, you gotta have right, the servers right, right. going up. Uh -huh. Or you know, in in San Diego, we have Comic Con every year. Mm -hmm. Every year, the site goes down. I'm going. That's because you're not using Azure. No, right, <laughs> right. And 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 that's what that brings. It instantly brings up. You know, at, at my old company, if we wanted a new VM, it took days. Oh, man. You know, yeah. and and but the here you get it in minutes. Yep. And be able to do load. And and I'm really really impressed. You know, when I was at Microsoft earlier this year, and, and uh, Scott Gu talked to us, mm -hmm. I'm really impressed what he's doing with Azure. That you know, Microsoft is always late to the game, but they're bringing it right now. Azure is coming out with some amazing things. That's awesome. That and, you yeah. know, I haven't coded against, to, but it seems very easy to to do things. Yeah, and we've talked to a lot of people. Mac, it doesn't matter what Mac or this right. this Azure thing. Mm -hmm. They got it going on. Mm -hmm. You know, they really got it going on. And, and, and hopefully that can transition back into Microsoft, you know, um, being more, a little bit more innovative, a little bit more receptive to some of the ideas you're going to bring up there and, and, yeah. and some of the other guests that we've had on their, their ideas and stuff. And maybe have a better connection between uh, the company mm -hmm. and, and, and the devs, maybe a little better relationship with you guys. Well, you know, that's, that's what I... That's what I believe the MVP program is, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm a, I, I think this is my seventh year being an MVP, oh, wow. and um, you know, I, I really see us MVPs as, uh, you know, I feel I'm the representative of my pro programmers in Southern California, mostly San Diego, but Southern uh -huh. California because I go up there too, um, but I kind of represent them, 
Right. You know, I hear their pain, mm -hmm. you know, pain and good. So you collect the data, mm -hmm. ship it on up. Yeah. With yourself. And, yeah, and when I worked at a company, every year before I went to Microsoft, I would send out an email going, hey, is there anything you want me to talk to Microsoft about? Oh, geez, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. surprising enough, I didn't get a lot of input for that. Really? Yeah, it, it, it really kind of blew me do away. Do you think that's because they were like, oh, they're not going to do anything even if you don't yeah. say anything about it? I, I don't think they realize I can talk to the people who work on that team, you know, and, and that's the great, I, Yeah. there's a lot of great things about the MVP program. I feel the best part is that, you know, I represent programmers, you know, mm -hmm. because Microsoft can't talk to everybody. Right. So they talk to us. Right. And uh, so we're kind of like the first line of <laughs> defense kind of, you know. Because there's so many of those unique circumstances and there's so many of those problems that need to be addressed before it become, they get behind the curve. Mm -hmm. And it's all about being ahead of the curve somehow. And, and I want to make the product better. Right. You know, and, and, and we have influence. We, I've seen my influence. You know, one time, I have a picture of this, you know, one time, you know, usually at the end of the conference, you know, because the MVP conference, you can only go if you're an MVP. Mm, right, you know, right. you can't pay to go. It's, yeah, Scott's you know, I mean, going. And, I mean, you know, we don't pay, you know. It, they pay for everything except for airfare. And um, so at the end, of, uh, the end of the conference, they have this one meeting where they get, like, all the, you know, VB and C-sharp people in, and they say, okay, well, here's what we learned. Here's what we're going to start working on. And they brought up a slide, and there were two of my ideas in the slide. And I was going, You're like, yeah, yeah, that's they're right. actually going to work on something I told them to? <laughs> you know, because we are very vocal. Yeah, you I'm know. sure we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we go there, and we slam them, you know, and, and not. But that's a part of the process, right? right? It's, it's about hammering that out and getting the work done. And make it better. Right. I mean, that's it's not only to under, have Microsoft understand, you know, uh, programmers, but you know what we need to make their lives better, and 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 we get a lot of other great stuff. But that is the most important thing to me is that I can go to Microsoft and sit down and have dinner with the PM of C Sharp, <laughs> yeah, or VB or whoever I want to talk to, and 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 talk to them directly, and yeah. that goes a long way. Absolutely, you know, it, you can't beat that. No. And I'm jealous of you <laughs> on many levels. <laughs> and, and most companies I've worked at understand the power of that. Yeah. And they like it. Yeah. And they let me go, <laughs> of mm. course. And because uh, when I run into something I just can't fix. Right. You know, we have a private list server, right, that I will post it on. Not only do I get feedback from my fellow MVPs that might know an answer, Microsoft gives me feedback. Right now, I'm working with a guy who, who's writing the async stuff in, C, in .NET Framework. Because I have an issue I haven't been able to solve, and me and him are emailing back and forth the guy who runs the async section of the framework. It's like, yeah, me and McCartney, we're going to be going <laughs> on a cruise next week. You know, it's one of those things. You know, you have, uh, uh, it's, it's that ability to make the change. Yeah. And it seems like... You've done that from the get all the way up to, to what you're doing now, and that, that's amazing. 